We are going to get the new class within 12 hours, at least for my region. With the introduction of Tempest, there will be a good amount of demand for charms. I usually just salvage the simple charms to save some space in my stash, but I have been keeping some of them to create a charm for my Tempest. However, you can also craft and sell them. Probably that's the best thing for most players since the chances of getting a good charm without spending a lot of platinum are very slim. Other than simple charms, you will need alchemical powder to upgrade them. There is no guarantee that you will get a Tempest skill while upgrading, but if you do, just extract that charm with 500 platinum and list it on the market for profit. We are not 100% sure which Tempest skills will be popular since we haven't tried any of them yet. However, I already created a PvP build by going through the skills and essences from the patch notes. In that build, we will use Blade Dance, a Flowing Strike, Squall, Zephyr Surge and Wind Edge skills. If you get one of these skills, I wouldn't list them for a cheap price. Not everyone is going to focus on charms, but most likely you have some whales on your server who want to create a perfect charm for themselves, so there will be a demand for charms, especially in the first couple of weeks. Well, that's all about making some platinum with the release of the new class. Crafting and selling charms is nothing new, but I wanted to remind you that there will be some demand for them with this update. Other than that, we can talk about a few things you can do to get some of the legendary items for Tempest right after the release. First, if you have mystery legendary items, use them after your class change to Tempest, and you will get a bunch of legendary items, depending on how many mystery equipments you saved. You can also use your Moonrite Flora to get some legendary items by completing a Rite of Cleansing run, which will give you one guaranteed legendary item. Another thing you can do is claim the Battle Pass reward after you change your class to Tempest, which will give you offhand options to choose from. You can keep this one for a little later because you might want to use it when you really know which offhand you need for specific builds. And lastly, we have the loyalty bonus. If you haven't saved your points until today, it might be too late for this one, but you can use it in the upcoming days to get the legendary item you are looking for. Just like the battle pass reward, I would keep this one for a little later to choose something that you really need for the build you are trying to complete. I think that's all. If you have any tips other than these for legendary items, let us know in the comments section. Thanks for tuning in and take care.